Welcome to the 14th lecture in this lecture series on international arbitration practice. We have been discussing about various components of an arbitration clause in the last several lectures. In this lecture, we deal with an important concept that is of recent vintage in international arbitration that is issues surrounding the law of arbitration agreement. The law of arbitration agreement has gained considerable prominence in the last two decades in international arbitration. And there has been a call for a specific clause in the contract on the choice of law of arbitration agreement. We will deal with the theoretical aspects of the law of arbitration agreement maybe in a future lecture. For now, we need to understand how these clauses are to be drafted. But let's start with the basics. What is this law of arbitration agreement? The law of arbitration agreement is the law that governs the validity formation, interpretation, assignment and waiver of the arbitration agreement between the parties. Please recollect that the arbitration agreement is contained as a separate agreement between the parties which is usually rare or commonly it forms a part of a contract. So you could have a law governing your entire contract and a specific law governing the arbitration clause in that agreement. So how to draft these clauses? Often these clauses go hand in hand with the choice of law clause. For instance, the provision could say this agreement shall be governed by English law. However, the arbitration agreement contained in this agreement shall be governed by Indian law. Alternatively, it could be drafted as under a subject to article dash sub article b this agreement shall be governed by the english law b the arbitration agreement contained in this agreement shall be governed by indian law pursuant to certain decisions in the last decade especially of english courts it is possible that courts could construe in circun certain circumstances of course the choice of seat as the choice of the law of arbitration agreement even if the law of contract is chosen specifically to be a law that is different from that of the seed. To obviate this possibility, the choice of law of contract clause may provide this agreement including the arbitration clause shall be governed by the laws of India. Sometimes the choice of law of the main agreement is contained in the choice of law clause and the choice of law of arbitration agreement is contained in the arbitration clause. In such cases, care needs to be taken to connect both these clauses. Now, we update the checklist. Here, unlike what we have done in the past, we will not provide for the entire updated checklist, but only that part which relates to the law of arbitration agreement. First, whether the law of arbitration agreement has been spelled out explicitly. 2. If it has been spelled out explicitly, whether it finds its place in the choice of law clause. C. Or 3. If it has to be spelled out in the arbitration clause and not the choice of law clause, whether both the choices are interlinked. With this, we complete the 14th lecture. See you in the next lecture. Bye-bye and species.